Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to create a configurable product using Magento. So in the last lesson, we created a simple product. Um, here it is. It's my product. We go back to it. Um, it's the format of MOV, and here's one tutorial. Well, let's say you had the same tutorial, but you were offering it in several different formats. Um, this might come in handy, let's say, if you had t-shirts, right? And you had different sizes, be, uh, small, medium, large, or even different colors. And let's say you wanted those all to show up on one product, and then you wanted like a drop down to be able to select that option. Um, I mean, that comes particularly handy with sizes in particular. So um, let's check this out. Let's see how we can do it. If you recall in the last time, we went to Manage Products, and then we clicked Add New Product, and there was an option for a configurable product. Well, let's select this, let's select Tutorials, and let's see what happens. It actually is going to come up with an error. Um, it says, um, the attribute set does not have an attribute which can be used for a configurable product. Well, that's because we didn't set up our attribute type and our attribute to say that it could be used as a configurable product. It says here it needs to be set to input type dropdown, scope global, and configurable product, yes. So let's go back to attributes, manage attributes, and let's find our format. Okay, so um, input type dropdown, perfect. Okay, and let's see, scope is set to it needed to be set to global. So now it's set to global. And if you notice, we have a couple more options. Use to create a configurable product. Yes. OK. So let's save this. And let's go back and let's try to add a configurable product now. Manage products. Add product. OK. And let's go to tutorials for our attribute set. Configurable product. Continue. OK. So here it's um, saying, which configurable attribute do you want this to use? And if you had more, let's say you had color or size, and you only wanted to use one of those, you would just check them. Uh, so each one you want to use, you check it. We just have this format, so we'll check it and click Continue. OK, here we can uh, fill in our information, just like before. So let's say new tut 2. I'm actually just going to copy this and put it almost everywhere. This will just be a series of ones, status enabled, tax class none, uh, URL key, like I said before, gets generated, visibility. We want this product to be shown up in our catalog and search. Okay, And all this stuff, we're just going to fill in the required things. We're going to say this one's $10. Um, okay, Nothing else required here. Uh, again, meta information is not required, but might as well just throw this in here. Okay, and now let's upload another image. I'm just going to take another screenshot, just something different. Let's browse. Let's grab it. Okay, upload. Okay, I'm going to set this to be the same image for all of these. And actually, let's upload another image. I'm just going to take another screenshot here, something completely different. And uh, this way you can see what happens when you have multiple images here. And this one, I'm not going to have it selected to be anything. It's just going to be the second image. Description, it's asking for something, so i got to give it something. Uh, design, we're not having a custom design. None of this gift message stuff. Manage stock, and OK. So if you remember last time, we had to put in how many, how many um, items were in here. Uh, because this configurable product that we're creating right now isn't the actual product that somebody's going to purchase. It's sort of different how these configurable products work. You almost create this shell, which is your configurable product, and then you create smaller, simple products that get grouped under this. And that's where you're going to manage the stock, So, um, which makes sense because you wouldn't have the same amount of stock for small, medium, large. It's all going to be determined separately. So you can think of this as just sort of the general shell here. So we're going to select in stock, and then we're going to have this be in the main store. Categories, we're going to have this be in tutorials, Magento tutorials. And then um, I'm sure we'll throw some of these in here too. Doesn't matter. Um, just for fun. OK, custom options, and then assorted product or associated products. So associated products is where we're going to associate our simple products that are going to show up here. So let's just click Save. Um, this isn't required, but as you can see, if we save this, 
we have our new tut it's enabled um, and everything's good and like we said we told it to show up in tutorials um, and if we rush it doesn't show up let's say we check magento tutorials we show up uh, it doesn't show up either so um, this is because we have not created the individual products yet okay well that's how you create a configurable product in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to create the simple products that gets associated with this configurable product once again this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching